All right, guys, welcome back to Ralph's house. We get, we're going to do a little bit of glazing here and kind of put these flowers back into the ground a little bit. These are the wild flowers that are growing there. I'm just going to grab a little bit of phthalo green here, mix it in with my water, and get, just get a green back into here a little bit. And so, just like we did before, just easy strokes, just and set them back. So, we're just going to, it's just going to tint it down a little bit. Move them back in there. I want them there, but also I want the ground there too. So, I'm just going to glaze over that a little bit, tone down those colors. So there we go, a little more of a grass color. Bit of thalo green, water, just sit them down some. So it doesn't, as long as not using white, it really doesn't cover it, it just sets it down a little bit. Just want to tone down. Amazing how glaze works. It'll you're just adding depth to your picture without covering up what's under. You keep your strokes short, you look kind of like a grass stroke, so it'll come through and appear that way. See how it kind of tones it down a little bit. That's going down some metal. Sits in the grass where they were. Yeah. Just like what we saw. Yeah, let's get it we're about where we're wanting it to go. Again, more of that phthalo green. Now right up here by that barn, and I hate to jump back up there, but I need to do something right here. That's a little bit straight. I don't want to kind of roughen that edge up a little bit right there. Maybe a little bit right over here next to the. He had kind of a bush growing right up here on the side of that thing, didn't he? Mm -hmm. so, so this is the old honeysuckle or something that's growing right up there by that. And clean that edge up. So there we go. Now I might have to down just a little bit, but that was there. A little more green, just put it on there. I know I might be hard to follow sometimes, but you're seeing, uh, Michael's shaking his head, yeah, I'm hard to follow, mm -hmm. but it's, I hope y'all gather, it's just putting paint in this picture we do a lot of glazing, a lot of pure colors, over colors to create colors we want, and to get the effect we want. Now we're going to pull a bit of ultramarine blue, more of that phthalo green, get the two together, and that's really going to darken that. Because this, remember, that part was down in the holler a little bit. Yeah, just, let's see, those, they're still there. We haven't lost our flowers. That shadow under this, see where the implement was sitting out there in the field. Kind of, there we go. Coming up just a little bit. Across the road to that part of the road. There's a little stroke somewhere in here. Put them down a little bit, Michael. Mm -hmm. I'll grab a little bit of yellow and put it into it. So we can catch a little bit of sunlight color back into the picture. Push up a few grass strokes. Mm -hmm. Right over here around that old implement that was over there. And those four 
ground parts. Just use your dry brush and figure out what kind of effects it's giving you and put it in there. Especially right here in this foreground. Put it in here with the flower thing. Well, we kind of notice some stems in there. That hillside, we're on step, we're standing on the hillside looking down in that valley a little bit. That kind of makes it look like kind of going over a hill a little bit. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's scary sometimes to do this. You think, oh, good, I'm going to mess it up. I got through that stage. It just it don't matter if I mess it up. It's pain. And we got plenty of it. Put more on there and just do it. Turn that down just a little bit over here. I don't want that to be as bright as the center of the picture. But we tell they're going across the road. That's what we want to do. So we're driving into. A little gonna grab some more of that yellow ochre and that green we got there. Keep moving up the hill a little bit, see. So. Working it toward just a little bit more. There we go. Just cut them in together. Now I'm gonna grab some uh, burnt sienna. It's just gonna look kind of wild here, but. Makes a good mix that in with some of that yellow ochre, and it's just going to make a good little effect here for you know, kind of a dirty grass color that you'd have on a just bush hog place out here on the farm a little bit. I'm the world's worst. Now, sometimes I don't know this is the way it's supposed to be, but I'm just going to do it till I like it. But sometimes I think it works. That dry side, push that up. Get a little effect. Work on that heel. Get rid of that brush, get my little brush. I'm going to grab some of this yellow ochre. Maybe just a touch of white. Ready to sign this one. Because we can pick all day long. I hate picking. I'm going to work on something until I get to where I want to be. And wrong color. Let's get red. Just trying to get a little bit of these that were up here in the foreground. See? So this is, these are right up here closer to us. How about we sign this thing and let it go? I'll tell you what, this is what we saw on the side of the road, driving down the road, saw a silo and thought, man, that'll make a decent picture. I hope this has worked because we had a ball doing this and that's what it's all about. Y'all come.